Okay, so we are recording. Hello, welcome back everyone. Today I have this, which is my Vivitar 5, which was this thing, V4000S, which I've reskinned already last time. I did not record the reskinning, so I'm very sorry, but... And also my first clip, which is me, is actually taking this thing apart in the afternoon, which is like a few days ago, and also cleaning this whole thing up, was gone. So... I'm gonna show you how to unstick the shutter on this thing. Before I took this thing apart, clean this thing up. This thing would fire like way too fast at one. This thing now fires normally, so see it fires normally. It was like this when I shot this thing before that. And also the let me go show you the curtain. As you can see, this thing will pull the rear curtain down and the front curtain up see just like that now um before i did the tear down thingy when you actually shot at one second the what you call i think the see the first curtain would not like peel up until like the very last minute so essentially you're gonna get like a quarter second i think with one second and then with one half or one quarter or one eighth you had like zero exposure so how I fixed that was pretty simple like I usually do with brick cleaner again I mean you want really low strength brick cleaner so let me go show you how I did that for this you don't actually have to open the top I've cleaned the top so it's all like shiny again right now but that was in the first video then I'm gonna make it short and simple what you wanna have beside you is some tweezers I prefer pretty normal ones, not these crooked ones. That's all I have right here. Let me go see if I have any other ones. I don't have any, okay. So, how you open this is just with four screws on the bottom. Just take them out. Put them in line, let me go. See if I can actually focus. Seems focused enough. Let me go put this thing at f2.8 so I can actually get some more light. Okay, seems focused enough. So then let's see. Wait, to be honest, actually I have these markings on my lens so I can actually just focus. <clears throat> now let's just take this second screw out. Third screw out. These things are all the same size, so you don't really need to have like any memorizing to do. You can just scramble them up and it's gonna be fine. Then you can pry this thing off just like this and you're gonna find this shield down here this you wanna actually keep in order let's put these things all on here um, I like to do it like this first take out the top three screws now as you can see I've moved the camera angle pretty high up so you can actually see way more of what I'm working on and less of like the white table on the front of me then let me go arrange these then let me go turn the music on you can see everything okay nice I have like a billion notifications on my phone then this one The ones near the tripod screw are the biggest, so you wanna like make sure that you actually remember where they go. Then this thing just falls out. If it's the first time, this thing's gonna be really hard, you have to like pry this thing off. And let me show you this. So, let me go focus closer in. And here you go. So, let me go. See that T1.5. Now, this is the clockwork mechanism essentially. So, what you have, let me go focus in better. This is the shutter bit, so when you cock the shutter, this thing actually turns, let me go show you. So it's like this. Then you fire. Okay. So, what is happening when you shut, when you fire the shutter, 
is that way. Let me go untangle myself from my headphone cables. Okay, so this is the bit that actually controls the speed of your shutter, and the bit around here behind this metal brace thingy is the bit where the shutter actually gets cocked. So this I sprayed with some some brake cleaner right here. And you really want to avoid these plastic gears like this white one. You just want to spray the brass ones lines after. So one point that I sprayed was this. Spray like this. Then spray this bit. Which went up. Down. You can actually put this thing, a tool. Or in my case, I mean the in your case, a brake cleaner, like what you call it, I think the red tube thingy that you actually put the brake cleaner through when you spray it you can actually go up to this bit right here which is the bit that actually gets close thing f2.8 and somewhere around here so you can actually go up to this bit and then that bit's gonna be the one that actually gets moved by these gears that control the speeds so it actually works way more smooth than it was working and then you wanna spray in here from somewhere around here it goes fine um, you're gonna spray this bit but here on the back bit so it's around here I'd say from this little hole around here there you go from here you can actually spray the shutter cocking mechanism and that's how you actually un unstick the shutter that's how I did it and after you finish spraying all that you can just put everything back together again with why it's so hot up Look at the fan, where's my fan? Okay, and let me go put this in front of you back together again. I think my phone's like out of internet. No? Okay. So, first you want to put this thing back. Make sure you're in the right order. Like you have like these pressing stains are obviously from the the bottom mechanism like sliding around so this is obviously the, the upper bit and this is the bottom bit because it's obviously more clean so you do this okay then let me go and tighten this thing down so let's go Then once you finish with this, you can actually put the back cover on and the bottom cover on Then shim it in There you go then you can screw this thing back in And once you do this, your camera's gonna be back in one piece again. So last screw. And so thank you for watching everyone. Hope you liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. If you didn't, and it's up to you what you wanna do. So thank you and goodbye.